you can send your Google form out to people so they can complete that. And there's a few different ways to do that. But unlike all the other files that we work with in Google Drive, you're not going to use the share button for this one. So that can cause you problems. Let's take a look at why. When I'm here in my form and I'm ready to send this out to somebody, what I'm going to do is come up to the big purple send button. Okay. So I hit that and I get three choices. The first one is email which actually can work really, really well. I can click into here and I can pull from our directory, really. If I just type in Tyndale, I'll find all the Tyndales in the board um, right now, or at least in my address book uh, that I can send to. So I'm going to send this to myself, say. The subject is going to be the name of whatever your uh, form is called, and certainly you can change that to whatever you want, like please fill this in now. Um, and the message is just going to say you've been invited to fill out a form. And then there's generally a link to that form. Now, what I can do is check this little box here that says include the form in the email. What will happen there is it's going to take that form and kind of embed it directly into the email so that users can actually receive that email and then fill out the form right then and there inside Gmail or whatever their email might be, rather than having to click a link and kick it to a new tab. You don't have to check that box, but you certainly can. The next option over, probably the most common one used actually, is going to be a link. So here I could hit copy and it would copy that big, long, ugly address for me. Or I can shorten that address and then copy and it's going to copy that much shorter one. And you might still just go right to Gmail and paste this into a message and type something up for a large group or something if you want to do it that way. You won't get the embed in your email option this way because when you choose a link, it doesn't know what you plan to do with that. I mean, you could post that on a website, you could put it on Facebook, you could tweet it out, you could do whatever you want with that. You're ready to go. That doesn't even include the fact that it's got some sort of social media options right here for you as well. Um, but the main three options, email, link, and then lastly is embed. So it gives you some iframe code here, some HTML code that you can use on a website. So if you're making a website, whether it's, well, you wouldn't need it for a Google site, but for other types of websites, you can use this code and you can go ahead and embed that form right on the page for you. With a Google site, you have an insert form option already. So it would just do essentially the exact same thing. But I can click here copy that address, which is, again, probably the most common option. And then simply by sending that to people, it means that if they were to go to that, they immediately just land on the form and they're ready to fill it in. <laughs> of course, I filled this in already, so I don't get to do it twice. The thing I want you to avoid here is sharing it, because like I said, everything else we do in Google Drive, we're sharing things constantly. Sharing here is adding a collaborator. So you got to think Google Doc. If I was sharing a Google Doc with somebody and they get to edit that document, then we're both collaborating on the content of that document. With a form, I don't want you editing my questions and changing what the content is. So it's, you know, bird and, and fish instead of cat and dog. So I don't want a collaborator. I want you to just receive the live version of that form and fill it in. Um, but when I add a collaborator here, I'm immediately adding them as an editor, that you don't get that sort of view access that you would get with a document or something else. So anytime you add somebody as a collaborator on your form, they can actually edit the form. And that's a problem, especially if they don't realize it. They'll come in here and they'll say, how many pets do you have? And they click it and they start typing their answer. And I've seen it many, many times. The other way that will happen is if you decide, oh, I'm going to send this form or make this available to, say, my staff. If I'm, uh, you know, admin in a school or just another teacher in the school, if I go and save this in a shared drive, a drive that's shared with all of my colleagues and they all have editing access to that drive, it means when they go to that link that I've sent them, they may end up on this screen where they can actually edit it and again not even realize that's what they're doing until they've already messed up some of your questions so you really want to avoid um, that inclination to right click something and say share or possibly when, while you're inside it click the three dots and add collaborators they do the exact same thing and 99 percent of the time with a form that's not what you want so go ahead and use the send button and that's going to give you those three options right there again for you to use that and have people fill in your form and complete it for you the correct way without messing up the questions that you've created 
and uh, allow you to collect all that data properly.